This is what home dialysis is going to look like. This is all the fluid that's in my stomach. Why I look really fat. It's supposed to require blood pressure. You're supposed to wear a mask. When you're connecting. Connecting the wires. Okay. Now I'm connected to the ID. Wherever that is. There's my bag of stuff. And then once it's connected, you can open the clamp here to let it go and let it drain first. Uh, now it's draining into this bag on the floor. I mean, it's in my stomach. Time's up. 10 to 15 minutes to drain. First five minutes I don't feel anything and then I start feeling some like what they call drain pain. Like cramping in your stomach. I watch my stomach deflate. You usually have to put one of these bags in a warmer to warm it up to like body temperature. Depending on if my blood pressure is high or low, you use a different colored solution bag. This one's green. Or is this green or yellow? This one's yellow, yellow right? It's supposed to be like a yellow seal to it somewhere. The one before this, the one that's draining now, is green. Green is just a higher strength solution. So it would pull more fluid out. 
if you have high blood pressure, it means you have more fluid in you that needs to come out. So you use a higher strength solution. The yellow is the weaker one. My blood pressure wasn't that high earlier, so now I'm using yellow for the rest of the day. And I do this four times a day, every four hours. It's kind of boring, but at least it's only like a half an hour every four hours instead of doing four hours at the hospital being under a lot of pain from cramping and seizing my entire body to like cramp up. This is a much more tolerable pain. It doesn't last as long. You're supposed to drain all the fluid out and then weigh yourself and then fill it all back in with the bag. Usually around 8 a.m. and then noon and then around 4 in the afternoon and then 8 o'clock at night. You do like a last fill and then keep that last bag in me all night while I sleep. It can be up to like 12 to 16 hours before draining again the next day. Yeah, it's only half as big as it was earlier. It looks like saggy skin though.
How long has it been? Eight minutes. You left the bag on the floor. Mm -hmm. This is what the. Uh, this is all coming out of me. You can put it back. It'll be flatter now. You can't really see the fluid draining out. Sometimes I can tell when it's pretty much done because this is no longer warm because the fluid coming out is warm. And then it starts to cool down when it's like draining less. Kind of like peeing. Kind of hurts now. Ugh. They say the pain is from the negative pressure of the fluid coming out and it's kind of like a suction that's sucking up, up against your organs or your stomach. I kind of feel like period cramps. Moving around helps sometimes. It feels colder. It's been 15 minutes. Soldering. Uh, 
That's good. You can close that. That'll do it. Close the roller clamp. Hmm? Close the roller clamp. Now it's done. Now you break the seal till the actual bag up there so that that will actually come into here and you close off the clamp to the drain bag so it doesn't drain anymore. And you put a couple of drops of liquid to chase away the air bubbles. And then I just wait a couple of seconds for the paint to go away again from uh, draining before I open the roller part to fill the stomach again. Now it's going to be filling. And I don't use the whole bag because that's like a 2,000 milliliter bag. And I only want to use 1,500 milliliters. So when it goes down to like here, we just stop it and throw it out. I like to waste fluid and throw it out. I can almost feel ribs, and then when this fills up again, I don't feel any of the ribs anymore. It's kind of sad. Filling takes about 10 minutes. It's probably a really long and boring video. I figured I should make at least one. At least filling doesn't hurt. The other solution I was using would actually hurt the fill as well, would be like cramping. And then we switched solutions and now this one doesn't feel like anything. You just feel your stomach expand, like you're eating too much.
Does it actually say on the bag how much 15 milliliters is? You just kind of guess. Whenever I feel like I'm going to pop, I just close it and stop. I'm hoping 1500 is enough. They want me to be able to put the whole 2000 in at some point, but it's just uncomfortable. I'm not fat enough for that. This is week one of trying this. We'll see at the end of the week if it actually works. I had training for last week at the hospital every day for five days. And according to them, the results weren't good enough. So they wanted me to go to hemodialysis last Friday anyway. And this is my second week trying and seeing they thought I had to go back on Monday, but they checked the results and it seemed good enough to keep me out of hemo for Monday. So I didn't go there Monday. Today is Wednesday and I have blood tests to do tomorrow to see if it's working still. I guess if it's if they have bad blood tests tomorrow, they'll probably put me in hemo on Friday. So hopefully it's good. I don't want to go there. Oh, and then in a month, if I don't have to go back to hemo, they'll finally take this thing off of my chest. Kind of annoying to have two wires going on. You'll have to say goodbye to this. No one wants a wire in your throat. Right now I do this during the day, but hopefully if it all works, I can do this at night instead. And then you can just detach during the day and not have to do this at all. So it would be like only overnight while you're sleeping. So you wouldn't even notice the fluids are going in and out, supposedly. You only need to wear the mask when you like connect the two wires and then at the end when you disconnect the two wires. It's the only part that you can get contamination or infections. I think it's almost at the end, right? No, about halfway. Is the expiry date? 
Yeah, it's not close to that. Yeah. Almost enough, I think. Doesn't feel as full today, I don't know. Doesn't look as fat right now. That's probably enough. I'm going to assume that this is like 1500. So there's not much left. So I'm just going to close this so it keeps me from contaminating. I close the roller clamp and then nothing goes in the line. And then it's done, I guess. So then you just have to like do this again in four more hours. This is how fat I am now, which doesn't seem to be as fat as I was earlier. <laughs> but it varies every time, depending on how you eat any food. Anyway, this is PD Dialysis. Have a good day.